Hey, good afternoon, my brother. How are you doing? Not too bad. I'm here sweating it. And yeah, um, I've been I've been listening to you for the uh, a greater part of the evening, the afternoon. All right. Um, a situation uh, with, as you know, um, the billboard bandit, as some, as the news put it, strikes again. But at this time, at your branch office in Bolands and on that um, structure that has uh, one of your 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 photo on it um, that was covered by another um, canvas. And lo and behold, um, on Friday, sometime during the day on Friday, uh, the members of DCA, it's alleged members of the DCA, and police came and removed that. Could you, um, you know, shed some light on that and, and tell me exactly um, what went on there? Yeah, well, I'm happy that you called, is it? because what is going on in Antigua and Barbuda right now, it's, it's very disheartening. Uh, it's not a way or a direction that a country that believes in democracy should be going. Now, what we have here is that the Prime Minister of this country, the Honorable Gaston Brown, is trying to protect this man, Brian Stuart Young. So every time there is something going up or something goes up about this man, and mark you, these are not defamatory information or statements. They're all factual. And every time something goes up, the Prime Minister, like he seems as if he has a problem with it, and then we see DC coming and ripping down people's cover on their billboard. The latest being um, happening yesterday, right next to my branch office, that cover went up the day before, the night before, and in less than 24 hours, it was done. Um, I say DCA, well, it did not leave a paper or a document as they did in the case of the billboard with Jonathan. I have it on recording of them actually removing the cover from the board. I have the vehicle number. I have the persons that went there to remove it. And I'll say this too to the general public, that this matter is not going to rest there. I'm going to take D.C. to court for trespassing and removing a property, something from a property that they have no right to remove it. Uh, it's about time that these people, these government bodies, face the brunt of the law and not act as if they are law unto themselves. This is a free country. Freedom of speech is a part of our constitution, and it must be exercised without fear or favor. It is not right for Gaston Brown and ABLB to be running this country and having people being afraid to talk of the expressive views on any given matter. We know what's going on with the bank. The Prime Minister expressed that in Parliament and otherwise, that they even instructed payments to stop going there from CIP. So we know that the bank is in a really bad situation financially. And for the life of me, I cannot understand why is hell-bent on defending Brian Stewart Young. Let the man face his judgment. I mean, we know what, what, what the situa situation is with, with Jack Stewart, the Jack Stewart incident, where he got a judgment for them to pay him back. And to this day, the man cannot receive his money. And to highlight the ills that are going on, it seems as if it's a problem to this administration. DCA is supposed to be a body that functions independently of any government minister. But it seems as if that's not the case. When Gaston Brown was questioned about why is the FSRC and Global Bank of Commerce so quiet on the matter, he said, and we asked him in Parliament if he doesn't think that it's his right to intervene as the Minister of Finance and the, as the Prime Minister. He said that these bodies operate independently without any involvement from any minister. But at the same time, we can't say that for DCA. But Dan Shug is through some investigation that I've done and um, a little bit of digging under some some bushels. Um, the Global Bank, right, was in the hand of the FSRC. And some agency or agent in the government has asked them to to to, to step off. Do you have any do you have, um, any idea about that? 
no, no, I, I, no, I, I didn't. I don't know anything of that. But right. um, what is is going on at the present moment? You know, it's it's really disheartening for a country that said uh, they believe in in democracy or whatever the case may be. Because this is this is this is this is not democracy. This is is dictatorship. Where you as an individual, I mean, this is private property, um, Zizi. Yeah. Um, there is. It's not like we erected another billboard. That big billboard has been there since the the by election. Mm-hmm. We're talking about months. There was never an issue with DC and the billboard ever. Because you all got per- you all got stuff. permission. You all got permission to yes, to erect that. Of course, that. we got permission to erect it. Okay. It's not a new billboard. It has been there sitting, just as the one with Jonathan. So the problem is not really the billboard. The problem is what is on the billboard that is exposing their corruption. But your corrupt, your, your this you, is what they have a problem is. But this the canvas is, is there. The canvas is there with your your picture, and it always not being removed. Exactly, it's still there. So it is the issue of them being exposed. This is what they have a problem with. They want to do the, the most nonsense in this, in this country, and nobody is supposed to talk. Nobody is supposed to say nothing. It's supposed to be kept a secret. Has anybody from the property or the structure got any notice uh, from None. DCA? None whatsoever. I was given permission to operate from that property, and I will be taking them to court. Mark my words. It is going to happen. They're going to receive court documents from me because it is not right. These things have to stop. Freedom of speech cannot be stifled. It's about time people challenge them, put a challenge to them, because it, it's not a part of. It's supposed to be a part of our democracy. It's just wrong, totally wrong. So may I ask, um, why Shugi, um, you know, is so forceful with this um, drug stroll, um The situation is Shugi. Uh, is he a part of your constituency or? or Yes, he's, he's a registered voter in, in St. Mary's South. I took the matter, I reported the matter to the, the police station yesterday. You know, that mm-hmm. I went to a funeral at one thirty yesterday, and the, the, the canvas was still there. After the funeral, I had to go to Johnson's Point to meet the family. And when I was going to Johnson's Point, at around maybe after five or so, mm-hmm. I realized that it was removed. It wasn't there. Oh. While I was in Johnson's Point, I went to the police station and I reported it. Okay. Because I'm going to take the matter further. I'm not going to let it rest there. All right. So, um, uh, otherwise, um, you know, having you here with all um, what's happening, how was the cleaning this morning? Oh, the cleaning up was, was, was fantastic. I mean, we went out, my team... And we cleaned up around the fishery. Uh, we planted some some uh, plants too. Uh, you have permission to plant. Plants. You have permission to plant the plants. Well, maybe this year I go and, and rip them up. <laughs> <laughs> but we spoke. We spoke to the heads over there, and they gave the green light for that to happen. Okay. So we planted some sauce up trees and lime trees, tangerine trees, lemon trees, mm-hmm. just uh, to enhance the physical appearance of the. Uh, fishery and we we'll, cut down some much needed bush and grass. Mm-hmm. That place is not being kept. It's not being maintained and uh, it's just wrong that the government is not really seen about to keep that place in, in full operation and keeping it looking the way that make it, it should. Uh, let it look as though that it's a, 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 a place where where people um, do business, especially where, exactly. where um, fishing is concerned. And yeah, other and things that are done over there. Yeah, we know the fishing industry is very vibrant in New Orleans, and it's a livelihood for many people living in that community. I do not have a lot of resources, but whatever I can do to help, I will help. So stuff like that, you see me doing on a basis, just to make it look the way that it should. And some, a couple of business places in St. Mary so contributed food and material, gas, and you know, we the string. And a 